Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. I'm here today to share with you what I got my kids for Easter this year. If you are joining us for the very first time, welcome. I'm Tammy. I make mummy and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Um, I have two living boys, Samuel who is five and Jacob who is seven months old that I'm buying for this year. And I wanted to share with you guys what I got them. If you've been with us for a while, you would have seen that in the past I may have gone a little bit overboard. Okay, I went way overboard with Easter presents and the reason being is that I was trying to compensate for the fact that Samuel was an only living child. His brother Jackson passed away when Sam was two, he was stillborn. So um, for the last few years, I have been trying to make Easter as fun as I can through gift giving. This year is a little bit different. Sam has someone to play with, so I have decided to tone it down quite considerably. We have far too many toys in our house and I have been trying so hard lately to declutter and simplify things and with holidays it's always really really hard. So this year I did try really hard to rein it in. The boys didn't need dressing gowns, they didn't need slippers, they didn't particularly need pyjamas although I did get them a pair of pyjamas. Um, they just, they didn't need toys, they don't, they don't need anything. So in order to still make the day fun, I did get them a toy each. I'm going to share with you in just a second what I got. I also did a book. I got them some yummy treats, even though all of these treats are mainly just for Samuel. Obviously Jacob can't have any of it this year. Um, and I got them a pair of pajamas and some bunny ears each. So keeping it very, very simple, um, trying to be as cost effective as I can as well, being on a budget, we are a one income family. So um, bear that in mind. I know that everybody's budgets vary from household to household. This is what I got my kids this year for Easter. I love that I've heard many many Christmases over I have not taken on the advice myself but I'm gonna try this year you guys I am going to try and cut back a little bit um, that is something you want something you need something to wear and something to read and I thought I would apply it to the Easter baskets this year so for the something you want uh, category I got Sam some Lego so I've got Sam some Lego and I've got Jakey a little musical phone um, Lego is a great idea if you are looking for something that is non chocolate last year I got one of those Lego sets that isn't really a set if you know what I mean one of those ones which just a bunch of pieces and I broke it down and put it in a bunch of eggs for Sam to find. I did a bit of a treasure hunt. This year though I did get him a set. He is obsessed with trailers and making trailers lately ever since we got our own trailer so I thought this would be a super fun set for him to build and it gives him an activity to do over the long weekend and it's something that he can keep and make into other things as he chooses. That's typically what he does. He never builds the item in the box and leaves it like that. He'll always find ways to improve it or completely change it. So um, this is one of those things that I know he'll get a lot of use out of and he'll be playing with it for years to come. For Jakey, I ended up getting him just a leapfrog phone. Um, it's just a musical phone. It's got numbers and things like that. Honestly, Jacob, how do I turn this thing off? Jacob didn't really need anything at all. He's seven months old, but in order to keep things fair, I decided to get them a toy each. For the something you need, I got the boys matching pajamas. So I picked up these pajamas from Target this year. They're little Easter bunnies. Um, this is what they're both going to be wearing throughout the winter months. They're grey. Um, they're a waffle knit, so they're quite thick and quite warm and I just thought they were super cute and would look really cute on Easter morning to have them matching. Um, so yeah, something you need is pyjamas. And then to go along with the pyjamas, I also got the boys a pair of bunny ears each. I ended up getting these from the reject shop. They were a dollar each. Um, this is one of those things that's probably going to go in the bin. They don't feel like they're very strong. They're probably going to break, but... Easter Sunday photos. I thought that'd be super cute. So dollar each for Easter um, 
bunny ears to go with their pajamas. For the something to read, I ended up picking up the boys a couple of books. Sam got We're Going on an Egg Hunt. He really likes the bear hunt story and he's starting to learn to read at the moment. So I thought that he would get a lot out of this book um, and be able to sit down and read it by himself with a little bit of help from Matt and I. It's also one of those books that will stay in our Easter box for years to come that the kids can pull out every Easter and read. And then for Jakey, I ended up getting him the Happity Hoppity Little Bunny book. This one's got a little puppet in there. Um, I just thought it was super cute. He's seven months old. He's really going to like that book. It's a super easy one for me to read and the pages are really thick so that he can hold them to without tearing them. So they each got a book. And then finally we have the chocolate component of the Easter baskets. Now this is another area where I've tried really hard to keep things as balanced and even as I can to set the tone for Easter's to come. Obviously Jacob is not going to be eating any of the chocolate. He's just woken up right now if you hear him in the background. Um, he's not going to be eating any of this chocolate so I tried really hard to rein it in and just get smaller eggs because Sam is going to be eating all of this chocolate. So I wanted to rein it in. I did get them a bunny each this year. I also got them some little bunny coins, a little bag of bunny coins. I thought that was super cute. I got a little bag of chocolate marshmallow bunnies as well that I split up between the two baskets. And then finally I did get two cartons of the Cadbury Dairy Milk Easter eggs. These are just the hollow ones. There's 15 eggs per carton. I got two because I needed to put some in as fillers of their baskets, but also we're going to be doing an Easter egg hunt this year. And if you've been following us for a while, you would have seen this type of Easter egg hunt. So we've had Easter's past where it's just a little trail of eggs around the house. This year though, Sam is a little bit older and I thought I would try something a little bit different. So we're going to be leaving clues that he has to follow throughout the day to get uh, the next lot of eggs or the next egg. So hopefully that'd be a lot of fun for him, draw out the entertainment a little bit longer for him. And that is everything that I got my kids for Easter this year. Like I said, I really reined it in. If you've seen my Christmases and Easter's in the past, you'd be like blown away by how little I did get the kids this year. I did sit down and have a chat to Sam a couple of weeks ago about the amount of toys that he has. I am kicking myself now and I've only got myself to blame for the amount of things he has. I would love to cull his toys by about half. However, he is the type of child that plays with everything, including Jakey's baby toys. So I do not know what to get rid of. Um, this is why we've now gone the route of not really getting very much for Easter. I think that in the future, um, this is probably the way we're going to go as well. So I hope you guys got some great ideas out of this video. If you haven't done your Easter baskets yet, if you have done your Easter baskets, let me know in the comments what you've put in your kids' baskets this year. And I will see you guys in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.